Bolt Action continues its haphazard journey through World War II with the latest supplement documenting the island hopping campaign of the United States in the Pacific. This supplement takes players from June 1944 to October 44, encompassing operations Forager and Stalemate 2. The Mariana and Palau Islands book comprises of 162 pages over 14 chapters. Let's get into it. The first chapter sets up the building blocks for the rest of the book. In a change from other supplements, four scenario types are used throughout. Beach Landing, Counter-Attack, Advance and Strong Point Assault. These are adjusted within the later specific scenarios to model the individual action. This short section provides the background for Operation Forager. The first part of which was the Battle of Saipan, the foreteller of many hard-fought fights to come. It began just nine days after D-Day in Europe and ended on the 9th of July 1944. Flicking through the scenarios we can see how they are adaptations of the scenario types covered earlier in the book. Saipan includes a rarity in the Pacific, a Japanese tank attack on the 17th of June. One of the special characters makes an appearance here, Lee Marvin, actor, singer and marine. Seven scenarios later, the chapter concludes with action specific selectors for the US Marines, US Army and Japanese Army. After Saipan comes Guam. Only two invasion points were feasible on this island, so the fighting is concentrated here. A tough landing and large counterattack are followed by slow progress all gameable via five scenarios and including rules for hiding your Japanese tanks in straw buildings. Taking place simultaneously was the assault on Tin Yan. For the US this was one of the most successful island attacks, over almost as quickly as it takes to read this one scenario chapter, which ends with the Guam selectors for the US and Japanese combatants. The Operation Forager coverage ends with an appraisal of the history, concluding that it was a resounding success for the Americans, of course. The Palau Island campaigns begin with a historical intro on page 82 and includes the Rifleman's Creed in a handy box. Repeat after me. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. The Battle of Palau began on the 15th of September. Two months of fighting was needed to clear the island over terrain unexpectedly tough due to American intelligence failings. In scenario 15 we have another tank battle in which the Japanese force is counterattacking, making for an interesting game. Scenario 20, Last Man Standing, rounds out the six scenarios for this section. All interesting but very tough for the Japanese player. Angaur was the final part of the Paolu puzzle. Invaded on the 17th, Victory was prematurely called on September 22nd, only for the fighting to continue for another month. This short section of the book ends with the selectors for the US Marines, US Army and Japanese forces. As always in bolt action supplements, there are new units to add to your forces, this time limited to the Japanese and United States of course. And that's followed by new weapons and equipment, which amount to tank upgrades and rifle grenades. The book ends with a number of special rules. These cover a wide range of topics including ammo caches, amphibious assaults, barbed wire, digging in, fortifications, Japanese infiltrators and a whole range of terrain conditions. 21 scenarios in total, along with lots of history, new units, weapons and rules. A useful addition to your bolt action library for anyone already interested in or who can be tempted by this fascinating theatre. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.